Welcome to the Pod of Desires podcast. Today I'm joined by uh, Lithium 2300, the OG, the GOAT. Uh, so usually the way this podcast works is first we have the news, meaning just anything okay. happening in Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Then we have the guest, which is of course you, and then the game, just the game in right. general. So in terms of news right now, we're at the European Championship. Any thoughts about that? Any predictions? Any hot Ooh. takes? Ooh. The place Utrecht is always nice simply because it's like a little over one hour a drive for me, so uh -huh. that, that's always always nice. As for the decks or the meta game, I have no clue. Too much diversity. Mm -hmm. I think Kashira won most nationals past yep. weeks. So Kashira is probably the deck to pick. I've seen some decks already. It's, it's like round five. A lot of people are on Runic Sprite. Yeah. With our without twins, so maybe that's a little bit of an underdog, maybe. I don't see any other deck doing well in like, you know, a huge yes. round YCS alike. Yes. Personally, I was playing Cash. I got mm -hmm. wiped out very quickly. Okay. I see a lot of people citing a lot of hate, hate. right now. Yeah, that's true. Like the Kurikaras, the triple tactics. Even like. though I think uh, it was a German national championship, what was it, two weeks ago with mm -hmm. uh, Tom? Yep. Tom uh, from Germany. Yes. Very uh, good player. Second place and also second place at London with Cash So yeah. maybe if you like, you know, play the deck for weeks now mm -hmm. and it's your weekend. No idea. He's he's a god. So maybe yeah. he's doing something special right there. I, I also saw him doing something crazy with Small World, apparently. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To yeah, have yeah, a more yeah, consistent yeah, yeah, Cash yeah, yeah. deck. Even more searches, yeah. Yes, yep. yes. Something mm -hmm. along those lines. So mm -hmm. that might be interesting. Right. Cash definitely a pick. The Fur Hire Runic deck we saw going oh, mad. I'm not so sure. I think even though it can do ridiculous stuff, draw, mm -hmm. what is it, three or draw six with all the, the pieces, maybe. Maybe I lean towards Cash to Rye a bit more oh, compared to the other decks. I think yeah. so. Maybe yeah, I'm yeah, salty yeah. right now. That that might that be. might be the case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The other news, I guess, uh, beyond Euros. Of course, there's a lot to talk about Euros in general with the playoffs as well. But we also had those quarter century rares. Ah, yeah. Uh, in Monstrous Revenge. How are you liking the set? There's a lot of good reprints as well. Mm -hmm. I, I I was looking forward the most to the um, the Assault Synchron uh, because of the Bastilles and then sadly we don't have like the deck at full power with you know Chaos Ruler for yes. example. So I think to use the Assault Synchron at its fullest potential, you, you have to use that, that Stardust. Axel Synchro? Tell. Axel Synchro, yeah. yeah, that one. You can play the deck on Master Duel, but you know, you're know you missing, what is it, Apple Dragon, yes. the level 2 tuner. So again, not the same. I'm a fan of those sets. Mm -hmm. like, like also the new imports. Yep. Yeah, and, and the reprints as well. The high rarity, I mean, I've seen some. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gorgeous. But you're no longer really chasing those. I was like never really a person who would like, oh man, I need to play every card in its highest rarity. I, I'm not that kind of guy, but mm -hmm. I could imagine that if, uh, you know, there were some specific cards that would get that upgrade, I could imagine that people, you know, who would always want to play the highest rarity, mm -hmm. I would see them chasing those cards as well. Yeah. yeah. I think that's mostly it for news. I mean, the quarter century rarity are like a big deal to some collectors okay. as well but i guess we can just instantly move to you the okay. guest yeah you've been going at it at the content creation space for a long time now a long time not huh? as many people might know that you've also had like a very competitive side of you yeah back in the day a lot of friends from near near friends nearby they were playing the game actively but eventually you know they they started quitting they they do play still up until this day but less less competitive always a huge fan of monarchs and I always try to make them competitive forever since who 2006 i think <laughs> they got on more support with the structure deck in 2016 mm -hmm. imagine if i would attend the european championship now or any YCS, it, it would always be with monarchs trying to adapt to the format yeah. never with let's say kashtera or yeah. Spri uh, may maybe small chance but i'd probably lean towards a deck that i like to play more yeah compared to maybe Picking a deck that you know inc would increase your chances mm -hmm. of maybe topping, who knows? But it's just uh, also the time, more so the time to play test, and yes. that's maybe why I less competitively minded compared to you know like years ago when mm -hmm. you're play testing day in day out. It's just no time to combine it with the job, the channel, yeah. the family. It's, it's yes. you need to cut cut somewhere. Congrats, by the way, on the. <laughs> <laughs> She's a, the family. A, a, a year and seven months, I think, mm -hmm. or six. It's, <laughs> very, very insanely busy. Insanely fast. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah. A lot of people aren't aware of how much time like content creation can really take up. It's actually like big props to like Jesse Cotton and Joshua Schmidt being able to do both now at the same time, mm -hmm. like competing mm -hmm. at the highest yeah, level and exactly. making content like uh, exactly. very tough. People might see like a 15 minute video and think, oh, oh that yeah, might have yeah. taken like you know, yeah. 20 minutes yeah, maybe, maybe. You know, a little yeah. editing. So who cares? It's much more. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it is. It, is it depends on the content. Yeah, yes. yeah. Especially when a new card drops, you also have to be like 
they are instantly, instantly or otherwise i try it yeah. doesn't work all the time sometimes mm -hmm. like stuff drops at maybe like most of the time it's it's at morning when i get up it's like oh new cards new archetypes okay let's wait and when they're up try them out see what you know the, the potential of a certain card is mm -hmm. Imagine if it would be released in our current format, what would it do? Mm -hmm. And sometimes a card is so overly broken or powerful <laughs> that, you know, people are saying it might be the next ZDX, huh? or maybe not. There's a running meme, right? Of, of yeah, exactly. At one point yeah, I remember that. ZDX. I, I don't know uh, which archetype it was. It was uh, Magical Musketeers. Oh, Magical Musketeers. But uh, yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. is that that was back in 2017-ish. Mm -hmm. can't remember the exact date. It was the moment when Magical Musketeers got their new, uh, I think it, it's a counter trap, right? The mm -hmm. one that negates spells? Traps? The one that negates stuff. I really thought, man, this is going to break the, the deck. Oh, sweet. Yeah. The next ZDX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But eventually the deck didn't really do anything because it didn't really solve the core problem of the yeah. deck i mean it's worth it though it's a it's a cool story and yeah, to be yeah, fair yeah. a lot of people get this stuff wrong like even the very best ones i don't know yeah, if you recall true. like the ban list the last one people were saying oh kash is really really hit oh. now and it's like no it's yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so it's very hard to yeah. really imagine what, yeah. what a certain hit will yeah. do to a deck sometimes like the cards that are overlooked that would perform outrageously good or, or very good when you didn't see it coming mm -hmm. something like that like even the for higher deck that we see people playing oh, now yeah. was not a thing exactly. before YCS London like, exactly. was it Dinka Bui? Yeah, Dinka. For the first yeah, time? yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, or at least their play group. Yeah. So, in terms of content, do you have any like big goals? Not really. Uh, continuing cross balanced cup. I mean, it's it's one of the. I mean, the going those YCSs, people always come up to you and say, "Oh man, I like that video. I like you play testing that particular." X archetype or Y archetype. Uh, I'm playing the same deck now. I'm I'm anxiously waiting for that new card. Or even, uh, yeah, Cross Balance Cup. Oh man, I played during that time. Oh man, nostalgic. So it's that's probably one of the biggest reasons why, you know, you're doing stuff like that. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. I guess since you don't really have the time to, to go as hard competitively, maybe even more, you just want to keep on trooping with the content. Are there any goals beyond anything else? Like, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you want to learn the guitar. Ah. <laughs> I don't uh, know. Are there any, oh, any no, goals like that? Mm, or? I have no clue. Like, like full-time job. The thing that I'm doing now, it's, it's something that was my end goal i guess for getting the oh. job a uh, family a kid yeah that that's all there a home that's it, awesome that's, that's all there so that's actually really cool like you're the first person who comes on the podcast and goes like nah i'm just I have no clue. I'm happy everything is going no well clue. yeah i have no clue what to stay healthy i guess yeah uh and i'm looking at family as well i, I don't see anything more important than than that what would i ask more sick no so clue you made it no basically. clue no yeah. Probably, I'm probably in a, in not. Happiness sense. It's no. It's I'm, I'm actually a... like like wholesome, wholesome moment maybe, but like that that's really weird for me. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm a child still. Uh, I, I don't yeah. know. Uh. <laughs> well, I, but I can have no clue yet. Yeah. There's probably things that I I'm forgetting or yeah, overlooking. Yeah, so busy, busy uh, weekend. So forward. So for the weekend right now, maybe circling back a little bit to the European Championship. Are there any players right now you're watching, thinking like? Damn, I hope they top. Gonna get that deck profile. I know that there are some people who, uh, you know, are on teams or they never give out the profile. Mm -hmm. I mean, for me, it's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, like, back in the day, I was like, oh man, I hope they top. I hope they top. Okay, yeah, you have some, like, big names that I, you know, you all, I mean, support everyone for the mm -hmm. top. So I have no clue for me. It, it, it's fine. Back in the day, I did, or before COVID, mm -hmm. I tried to do as many profiles as possible. Now, post-COVID, it's also less stressful to do it. Always chase the people. Hey, uh, you topped whatever 32 do you want to do a profile mm -hmm. and you know those profiles 10 minutes 15 minutes maybe at the end of sunday you're always like so tired and yeah, like a absolutely. big head because of that you know health like you're just relaxing on day two see who wants to do to, uh, to do a big tech profile and then focus maybe on the more interesting ones top eight and see if people want to give them out if not then it's fine. Regardless of profiles, let's say, is there anyone you're rooting for? Any friend that's still doing well? Or? Oh, good question. Most of my friends that I talked now, like a couple of months ago, they're out. They're out of the tournament. Yeah, X2-ish. Yeah, mm, not the best. Actually, no clue if some people from locals or from Belgium are still in and, you know, going maybe undefeated or do, doing well. Mm -hmm. Maybe Sean. No clue. Um, okay, yeah, Sean, yeah. I, I think, think he's but again, doing well. Like, but... no clue how, how his record currently is. Mm -hmm. 
but he's like mostly either tops or bubbling. Yes, yes, absolutely. He he, uh, he topped the European Championship okay. uh, last year. Yeah. T top 32, which is, you know, solid. And then I think the YCS has, since then have been, gone like hit and miss. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were talking earlier and, and he doesn't want to be a, a regional Andy. He yeah. always does very well at regional yeah, and then yeah. the YCS can sometimes be like a tiny little harder. Maybe yeah, something yeah. goes wrong or something like that. Circling back to the game of Yu-Gi-Oh then. How are you feeling about Yu-Gi-Oh in general right now? Oof. The franchise, uh, the game. The... Uh, more so focus on the TCG it's itself, more so competitive. Mm -hmm. I still like it, mm -hmm. of course. Try to do Master Duel on the side as well. A little less focus. I mean, it's just not, not possible to focus on everything. Mm -hmm. I think there is a lot more potential for Master Duel. Mm -hmm. But that, I guess, needs time. Like YCSs. Okay, Euros now is a bit different with, you know, almost... 2k people, little under 2k. So I was expecting more, more people. Mm -hmm. Again, looking at, you know, YCS Dortmund, Utrecht last time, which one we had as well, YCSs, they were always like oh, almost 3k people. Uh, yeah, yeah, or a little, yeah, and yeah. So forth, like a lot of people. Like most YCSs were indeed like record breaking. Mm -hmm. So that's something that where, where is it going to end? So yes. that's why it's a bit strange that Euros is under 2k. I think it's actually because there's quite a few people who don't even qualify, which is like, all to say because a lot okay. of people are qualified yeah. but for example yeah. for our locals yeah. we have a few people who would have come had they qualified oh, but okay. they didn't okay. whereas they were usually with us at the YCSs right 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 so okay yeah that might be that, the case that might be a thing maybe like one person in the friend group isn't qualified and then they don't decide yeah. to travel so that's like yeah, that's three true. people yeah, that you possible. might have lost something yeah, like yeah, that yeah, yeah. yeah but other than that oh, I have no clue yeah. The game is growing still. Yes. So many new people, so many new faces. It's mind-blowing. And, and like, yeah. every time it yeah. just keeps on breaking records. Yeah. And the new sets are still coming out. New cards. So as long as, you know, that, that happens, I don't see it ending yeah. anywhere soon. <laughs> no, not no? at all. I... Any game design that you're maybe go going like, oh, this is too much or this is too Ooh. little or something like that? I think it's just natural, you know, for card games. Like, Yubi was the only card game I'm playing. Mm -hmm. But I guess, you know, for other card games that Power Creep is, is a normal... The normal curve for, mm -hmm. for the game every now and then there is going to be an archetype that's you know it breaks the game or take a look at the most recent sets what was power of the elements darkwing blast most cards are already limited or banned or yes power of the elements and uh yeah, magnificent that, mavens were that's the thing right <laughs> I saw, like earlier this week i saw a picture of a full tier element deck yeah. an ocg tier element deck yeah. with maxis as well mm -hmm. and oh all the cards from either main deck side deck and extra deck were either banned or limited yes other than Maxi. Yes. Maxi was, was still at three. Yes. But all the other, the Tillman cards, the Kashira cards, all at one are banned. Exactly. Fendi was banned. Like, it, it was a crazy sight to see because. It was everything except for Maxi and the two tier traps. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything else was one, yeah. one, 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 bam, yeah. bam, 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 yeah. bam. Like, and that's still, it's, it's one of the recent sets, right? It's yes. a recent card, well, so. Relatively recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but that set was just completely. Yeah, like, yeah. But bombs. every now and then, I guess maybe the next set will contain a new archetype that will break. I think that's, that's the natural flow of the yes, absolutely. Of the game. Personally, I sometimes feel like, oh, there's a little too many blowout kind of cards. You mm -hmm. know, like, but again, maybe I'm just salty <laughs> from yeah. earlier. Uh, right. I've, I've only lost to Nibiru Triple Tactics and Kurikara today. So, right. you know, <laughs> the that, that's, the, that's the cash issue, you know. Yeah. Some people might argue that sometimes current decks feel too weak compared mm -hmm. to those blowouts sometimes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is something I've, I've heard some people say, like you might set up the most impressive evil twin runic board and then they go uh -huh. dark ruler, haha. Exactly, yeah, yeah, so, true, true. You know, or Ra's fear mode, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. maybe, but you know, that that's, you know, what some people might be talking about. I guess in terms of the TCG, everything's like, pretty fine for you then? Yeah, I think so. Maybe we can expect a new master rule. I don't know. With some news. I don't know. Eh? Maybe. No, no, I know. Because I with, with looking at the past, shouldn't we be getting like a new master rule? I, I have no yeah, clue. Yeah, something. Some yeah. people were expecting... Yeah, I think so. They, they showed like the new, what is Chimera type or something like uh, that? Oh, yeah. And the people Phantom were like, oh, Beast like. Uh, yeah, 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 this yeah, might yeah, be yeah, the new yeah, yeah. thing, but I don't really see much no, from it. No, no. I kind of feel it's like psychic, you know, just mm -hmm. a new type who. Yeah, yeah, new type. You yeah, know, whatever. But again, yeah, no clue. Maybe that's yeah. something that would or could change the game again. I don't know. Yeah. If there was a new master rule, is there any uh, idea Ooh. you have? They try to slow down the game, I guess, with the uh, inclusion of links, at least. That's, that, uh, that's an assumption, I think. Yeah. Something to slow down the game, maybe. But so many cards. Mm -hmm. What is it? Over 12k yeah. cards. Eventually, uh, yeah, I can't imagine. There's either. so <laughs> many things you need to take in consideration, and oh, something different. I don't know. Maybe another extra deck type. Oh, Bumping okay. up the extra deck. I have no clue. Yeah, Patrick no clue. Hoban. I assume you know who Patrick mm -hmm. Hoban is. He had a pretty interesting one. I know 100% it's not happening, but it's pretty original. He said, what if 
you can access your side dick. Oh yeah, I saw point. that one. Oh in okay, the podcast. okay. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, cool, appreciate yeah, 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 yeah. it. Uh, you can access your side dick yeah. basically. Yeah. But during the duel. You, yeah, during the duel, yeah. but then you give up those side slots basically. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would be broken. Personally. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like all those bricks, you just put yeah. them in the You're side. You're extending your deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be more complicated than oh, you yes. have to take in consideration your deck, extra deck, or your hand. Yes. I don't know. It would be the most power crept yeah. game ever. Because right now, I'm already thinking of like decks that have a few too many bricks, uh -huh. but suddenly you can put them all together when you put yeah. the bricks in the side. Yeah. That would be. Patrick just wants yeah, like yeah, yeah. the most crazy yeah. duels on the planet. And the piles, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, the piles, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I don't see that happening. No, but I don't think the so. The idea. <laughs> but for an alternate format, it sounds, it sounds mm, pretty crazy. Maybe something to explore. Yeah, it could yeah, be maybe. a video idea. Maybe. maybe. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> if I find the time, this, yes, is the, yes, this is the thing. Definitely. The last question usually on the podcast is the desires question, which is if you had one wish for Yu-Gi-Oh right now, just can be about anything, whether it's, oh, I want a pink Karibo that dances on Blue Eyes White Dragon, whatever, any, any wish oh, can be yeah. anything, a new product, oh. a new whatever. What would it be? A uh, new Monarch support. A good Monarch support. Oh, I mean, okay. We had a new one yeah. some time ago, a couple of months ago, the new Testalos with different stat line. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe something like that. Some yeah. ultra mega Monarchs that actually would, you know, could incorporate themselves with the Monarch stat line and increase the consistency of the current way of mm -hmm. running the deck. Yeah, would maybe you want like, like a, that. a Link 1 for Monarch? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah something to <laughs> link away idea and, uh, you know, get the search, etc. Yeah. Oh, maybe yeah. to make it more hand trap proof. Yeah. Now, now I'm that's, seeing the creative juices yeah, 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 flowing, yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's probably something that's... Hmm, yeah, maybe. Emergency teleport for Monarch, maybe? Yeah. That says uh -huh. pretend like it was tributed? Yeah. Yeah, or, or maybe... Yeah. I mean, the deck is still fragile against... Currently against hand traps and, of course, board wipes, looking at evenly matched. Mm -hmm. I don't know, yeah, maybe to make the deck more consistent, more or less bricking or, or losing to a particular ash or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Maybe okay. an emergency teleport. <laughs> yeah, who knows? I mean, I'm just going crazy at yeah, this point. Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, cool. Yeah. New Monarch support. Uh, Konami, try try yeah. to do that. Let, let's get some Monarch support in yeah. there. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much. No worries. Um, is there anything you want to shout out maybe? The friends. The friends, okay. The channel. Thank you for having me. Of course. Uh, I'll put the channel to Lithium in the Everyone uh, coming up to you like at YCS's tournaments that they you know, tell you that they appreciate the content. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why you do it. Awesome. Thank you so much. I will see you soon. Ciao.